What's up guys, it's Silent and right now I am on my way to Halle Berry's Never Let Go of My Wig fan screening here in New York City. As you can see, we're walking through the heart of New York City, Times Square. And you might be wondering, what kind of movie title is that? Well, actually, Halle's new movie is titled Never Let Go, which will be released this Friday, September 20th. But the wig part of the event is because Halle recently tweeted that people have been ragging on her movie wigs for years. So now she's declaring a wig off. So I decided to come on down and showcase some of the wildest wigs I can find and see how people are feeling about seeing Halle Berry's movie. How are you guys feeling about the screening? Oh, we're so excited. We love Halle Berry. And we love her wigs. <laughs> oh, all the above. You know, we're going for the kidnap wig, the short, the short bob. How are you feeling about the screen and tonight and the, and the wig concept? I'm so excited. I love it. I love Halle Berry embraces the jokes. I love she interacts with people on her fans on Twitter and just embraces the humor of it all. Um, so I just borrowed this from my mom's closet. <laughs> so I've been had this week thinking it was like, you know, distressed. But actually distressed. I just had to figure it out. And how you feeling about the screening tonight and the concept of the wig screening? I'm excited to see everybody else's wig and I'm excited to see the wigs. I'm excited to see what's, what's new for Halle Berry. Now I can't wait. And the wig, uh, you know, it's my thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a new person. You know what I mean? You see me. <laughs> this is my... Go ahead, describe it. I'm me. coming to get you. Like, yes, that's all That's all it is. You know, she's she's always running after these kids and these wigs and I love it. I look for it. Thank you, Halle. Love it. I'm a 911 operator. I'm searching for Abigail Breslin. Where is she? In a trunk? Oh, okay. No one's saving the kids faster than me. <laughs> How are you feeling about the screening tonight and the wig I'm concept? I'm so excited. I'll never let, a, let another kid get kidnapped. Not with me and my wig on the job. <laughs> so how do you feel about seeing Halle Berry's movie today? To. I haven't seen one recently. Yeah. So. And what do you think about the whole concept of wearing the wigs for the screening? Just come and have fun. Exactly. <laughs> Alright guys, as you walk in, they give you a Halle Berry Never Let Go poster. How are you guys <laughs> feeling? Yes. How are you feeling good. about the screening? Excited. Feeling good. Feeling excited. Good. Woo! Excited. <laughs> Let's get it. Any inspiration behind this choice? Yeah, I was thinking more of the call, you know? When Halle Berry was uh, operator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for losing Isaiah or Gotham because she had the craziest wigs. Hi, so today Lionsgate is putting on a Never Let Go Your Wig screening and we have a bunch of wigs for people who did not wear their wig today. So if you'd like, just pick up a wig and go wig out with Halle Berry on Never Let Go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
if you're offering. I gotta get you. I gotta get you with the wig on. Oh, you gotta get me with the wig on. That's crazy. Yeah, immediately. That's crazy. On Facetime, that's crazy. Crazy work. <laughs> That's crazy work. You excited to see Never Let Go? Are they sure, yeah. Put the poster up. Yeah. Uh. Honey. There we go. Uh. There we go. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> How you feeling about seeing Never Let It Go? Never Let I'm Go. Excited. I am excited. Uh, hopefully, I'm not too scared. But I heard it's like a psych thriller. So that has me excited to see whatever twists and turns. I hope it's scary. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm all wigged out. <laughs> so now it's time to go see Never Let Go. Pre-screening, fan wig out screening. And you make sure to go see this movie on Friday, September 20th. Oh, oh my God. God. I love this! Oh my God, my people! My people, please get your wig on. Where's your wig, brother? You have your wig on. Oh my God, you need one. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Put that on. Don't don't be ashamed. Put it on. Come yeah. on, put it on. Everybody has a wig. Oh my God, thank you. Uh oh, I see somebody else up there without a wig. Here you go, brother. You need one too. Oh, wig. You got one. Okay, we just got one. Who doesn't have a wig? I have a bag for it. Everybody's good. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much. So you know. I know y'all have been dragging me for years for this wig right here. No loving you. <laughs> I know. And I know it's lovingly, and I, and I receive that as love. So, you know, thank you so much. But I do want to tell you one little thing, though. You know, this little uh, hairstyle from the call. Yeah. yeah. You want to know how I got this? I didn't just make this, uh, 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 you know, abomination up. <laughs> I went to the call center, and I was doing my research. And the woman that walked me to the call center and explained to me what it was to be a 911 call operator had this hairdo. Oh. And so I stole it from her. <laughs> so it's, it was on a real person, I promise you. <laughs> so that's where I got it from. But this means so much to me that you guys would come out tonight, put on a wig, take the time, come support this movie that I'm, I'm so proud of. And you know, there's another wig in it. <laughs> there's another wig in it, another fucked up wig in it. <laughs> But it's supposed to be fucked up, though. That's the difference. Yeah. Um, you but save the kids. yes, you gotta save the kids, right? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna save my kids now, right? No. You know, I'm gonna do that. But no this is a different behind. version of a, of a mama. So as you're watching, bear, keep, keep that in mind. You know, every mother is not created equal. Every mother is not the same. But what I do know about mothers is, a mother's heart is big and she's fierce and she will do anything. And when I tell you anything, you will see. She will do anything to protect her children. So keep that in mind. Where is that? Where is that? I don't know. I lost him. I lost him. But I saved Abigail Breslin from the trunk. I got her ass out. Right? I got her ass out. Uh, and I saved Frankie. You know, those people snatched him off the road. I saved his ass. I almost killed myself in the car, but I saved his ass. And uh, I'm gonna save these kids too. So, <laughs> so in, in, enjoy the show. And when it's over, if you wanna tweet me, you go ahead and do that tonight, because I'm gonna be up waiting to hear what my special fans, all of you, think about the movie tonight. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and send me pictures of these wigs. I want to see all of them. Yes. I can't even see all the people back there. So send me pictures of these wigs, okay? Yes. And I love you guys. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the movie. Y'all, Halle Berry gave me a wig. What the hell am I going to do with this? <laughs> what? I need her to come back and explain what we just watched. 
Like, is there a part two? <laughs> because <laughs> Cheryl finished it. <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> I had such a good time. It was so much fun. I was like kind of gagged. And it assured, no matter what wigs I have, I will personally not be rescuing children. Well, I thought it was great. Um, the twist at the end. I, w I had a feeling that it was real. And she did a good job protecting her kids. Like, as always. As always. And the same. She saved the children. As usual. But did the children save her? <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs>